My name is Professor Robert Thomas. I'm a consultant oncologist specialising in neurological malignancies. Now the treatment for early bladder cancer is primarily surgical. The urological surgeon will remove the tumour through a cystoscope. Then after that, install a form of chemotherapy called mycin C into the bladder. The sample is then sent to the pathologist and if indeed it is confirmed to be a cancer and it hasn't grown through the muscle wall, so it's an early bladder cancer, the treatment then consists of six weekly infusions, either of a form of chemotherapy called mitomycin C or something called BCG, which is actually a TB vaccination. The patient has to come into a room very much like this and have a catheter inserted into the bladder and then usually a highly qualified urology nurse will make up the solution, inject it into the bladder and it has to stay there for if it's BCG two hours or mitomycin C one hour. So the procedure goes very much like this. The, this catheter, which is very small diameter, goes in to the bladder, uh, usually with some lubrication to ease it. Most often a local anaesthetic is not used, but I've been reassured that it's not too uncomfortable. And then the BCG or the mitomycin C is connected to this apparatus and it is primed with some liquid to dilute it and then this is injected through the catheter into the bladder and then after that the catheter is usually removed and uh, the infusion stays in the bladder for about two hours and then it's just passed normally. Uh, with the catheter removed the patient is asked to, to move about so the liquid uh, swirls around into the hole of the inside of the bladder and then it's just passed normally. After treatment, there's usually some cystitis, which can be uncomfortable for many men or women. Uh, and this goes on weekly for six weeks, and then that's the end of the initial treatment. Of course, the patient needs to come back for regular checkups to make sure the tumor doesn't come back. But fortunately, with early bladder cancer, especially if they're of a lower grade, the chance of relapse is very small.